Hello everybody and welcome back and today I'm going to show you how to record your iPod touch screen. Now keep in mind in this video I'm going to show you how to record your iPod touch fifth generation screen but I do believe it will work on both the iPhone and iPads. It will not work on the Nano or the Shuffle and I do not think it will work on the iPod touch generations uh, probably the earlier ones one or two. That being said if you have any troubles following along this video or you cannot download whatever I'm downloading, uh, go ahead and type in the comments below, tell me what's wrong and I will try and help you out. Also, if you're using a different device, I am using a iPod Touch 5th generation, that's why this video is focused on that type of iPod. I will try and help you with different type of iPods, though I think you will be able to record with this. If not, type in the comments below, I will try and help the best I can. So with that being said, let's get started. So first, all you're going to need to do is go to your web browser. I use Google. You can use Bing. Uh, you can use Internet Explorer. Uh, Safari comes with the iPod. Um, whatever you want. does not matter. You're going to tap the search bar. Go ahead and type in EMU, the number four, and iOS, iOS, and click search. So you're going to click the first link, emu for iosnet That's going to bring you to the page that we want to go. And as you can see, once it loads, you're going to have this app type looking thing with a black outlining with a white controller. And over to the far right, you're going to see this button get. Go ahead and click get. You're going to say OK. This is going to say that you're going to leave the Google app and you're going to download the EMU for iOS store. So go ahead and click OK. Click install. And we're going to click the home button and go back and swipe over. So as you can see, it is installing. Uh, we're going to wait for that to install. And once that is done installing, We'll get continue with the video. After you have fully installed the EMU for iOS store, you're going to see it looks like just a regular app and it says EMU for iOS with the same black and white controller. Go ahead and click on that. That is going to open the EMU for iOS store. And as you can see, there are tons of apps here. They are for multiple uh, uses. Now, the one that we are going to focus on is the very top one, the shoe, I think I you would pronounce it. I am not entirely sure, but that is the screen recorder that I am currently using. Um, iRec also works on other iPod Touch devices, but it does not work on the iPod 5th generation. So mess around, see which one works. If you have an iPod 5th generation, go ahead and go with Shoe. Uh, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, um, try Shoe. If that doesn't work, try iRec. So we're going to go ahead and go in Shoe or however you call it. This is the Shoe app. This lets you. This is the app that lets you record your screen. We're going to click Install and Confirm. Click Install again. Now, I am already running uh, Shoe right now. As you can tell, on the top of my screen, there's this red bar and the white words Shoe flashing uh, briefly every once in a while. That means that my screen is being recorded by Shoe. So I'll just let that download, but I already have the link or the app, so I'm going to go ahead and go inside of it. Now, there's not much to this app. Uh, there's Start Broadcasting at the very top, which I'm not entirely sure what that does. Um, and then there's a second option that says, right now it says stop recording because I am currently recording. If I were not recording, it would say start recording. So all you would have to do is just click on that and start recording your iPod screen. Now at the very bottom, we have three kind of tabs. We have the shoe uh, tab, which opens this. We have recordings, which where uh, after you are done recording a video, it will be up in here. And we'll get back to that in a little bit, how to get that to your camera roll and how to upload that to your computer. Now we click on the final more tab. There's not really much in here that interests me personally. You can like their Twitter, their Facebook, their Google Plus. You can look at frequently asked questions about uh, the product, or you can do the, the privacy policy, terms of service. You can see what versions you have, or, and you can finally log out. Um, I log in with my Facebook account. I didn't show you that step because um, once you open the, uh, when you open up the app for the first time, they says sign in. And I can just sign in with my Facebook account or you can create a new account. Doesn't really matter. Right now I'm going to stop the recording and I'm going to show you how to uh, put the video that you just recorded into your camera roll. Okay, so here we are. Just started a new recording. We're going to go ahead and go to the recording tab. Now if you remember, this is where all of your saved files of your previous re screen recordings go. And as you can see, I already have a screen recording of what you just saw earlier. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. It's going to bring up some options that we can do to this video. We can either play it right now to review it, open it in a different kind of uh, media video player, save it to the camera roll, or just delete it. 
Now what we are going to do is we're going to save it to the camera roll. Now this puts it into your camera roll where all of your photos and your uh, videos and everything else that you record from your iPod, it goes into the camera roll. This just puts it into the camera roll so that you can then upload it to your computer. So if we just went to photos, this is where it will save to. As you can see, it is saved in the camera roll, but it is also saved in videos. If we open this up and then we click it and it will play. As you can see all that was earlier is there. All that I recorded earlier from what you just saw is all there. Uh, we can fast forward to, I don't know, uh, when I get into, this is when I'm into the actual shoe account, whatever, there you go. So that's it. From here, then you can go plug this, plug your iPod into your computer, transfer it over the computer, and then upload it to YouTube. I do not believe that um, the shoe app itself can upload straight to YouTube or Facebook, but from photos, I think if you go into and you click on it, you can hit this bottom left-hand corner and you may be able to, yeah, you can, you can send it to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, whatever you want. You can send it over mail or messenger. Um, but if you want to edit it, go ahead and uh, link up your iPod with the computer so you can start editing. And that is it. All you have to do, go to Google or Bing or whatever, type in EMU for iOS, download the store, go into the store, find the shoe app and download that and then you're all good to go again 100 percent free you do not need to pay for anything it is an amazing amazing uh service and amazing screen as you can see it records your screen and it records very well and i have no real complaints about it really and i can't really complain because it's 100 percent free so i hope you enjoyed this video again if you have any troubles comment below i will try the best that i can to help you all right, I'll see you all later. If you want to know how to make a YouTube channel or how to upload a video to YouTube, go ahead and click the annotations that just popped up. And I hope you'll enjoy. I hope you'll subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye.